Pepe of Squad, it's me, Jacquez, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Today we are having the adult version of cookies and cream. <laughs> so basically what we have is some shrimp alfredo. Hold the pasta. We don't want to do no pasta, y'all, because legit, I was looking at a couple of my last videos and my face was looking, my face was looking a little big up and about here. Because I can't do that. So we're going to hold off on the pasta, you guys. We just have the shrimp. Dipped in our um, garlic, uh, cheesy, spicy Alfredo sauce, you guys. Made from scratch. And then on this side, we have some mussels and some corn on the cob. Dipped in some uh, lemon butter sauce and all that good stuff. It's a lot going on up in there, y'all. It's a whole lot going on up in there. And then we also have some Gatorade, y'all. I said I was on my water kick and somebody was telling me about some water, but I couldn't um, find it. So, I just went to Gatorade. But I am really... Um, I've been really intrigued with this fruit punch Gatorade lately. It's really good. It's really good. But before we start drinking this, we're going to say our prayers because I don't want y'all to get on me. So let me say my prayers. Amen. So yes. Cheers to you guys. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get into this. I've been wanting the muscle since I put them in the dang on pot. And the sauce, y'all, the sauce is in the bottom. It's in the bottom of there. It's in the bottom of there. Let me get you some. Do y'all even like mussels? These are the black mussels. Get you some. Get you some. Mm -hmm. Ow. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. And yes. So I heard you guys. When y'all said y'all want me to do. Oh. This is the wrong shirt for all of that. Mm. So anyway, like I was saying, I heard you guys when y'all say y'all want me to do the corn challenge. I mean, not challenge, but it's not going to be a challenge, you guys. I'm just going to eat a big pile of corn. <laughs> mm. What are we going to make it fun? Is I'm going to put myself on a timer and see how many I can eat. At one time, I hate that that's so washed out that you guys can't see it because that is pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Oh, my goodness. That flavor. That flavor. These are some big shrimp, you guys. Huge. Huge. Mm. eat really quick you guys well not really quick but I'm gonna eat a little bit first and then <laughs> I got something to talk to y'all about <laughs> an experience that I had recently <laughs> mm. man it's good 
actually, that's amazing. Man, that's good. Get some coin, y'all. Get some coin. Now, I, uh, I, I, I hate when I get on here, my words are all mixed and mingled. I do not do that off camera. I don't understand. Y'all be making me nervous. <laughs> Um, I also heard you guys say that y'all prefer that I do the small corn, uh, corns. So. Mm. We're going to make a compromise. Since I prefer the longer ones, I'll eat those in the privacy of my own. <laughs> and then on here, I'll eat... The smaller ones for you guys. <clears throat> mm. That sauce is lit. I mean, lit, lit. Oh no. I forgot to turn the heat off. Not that, even, that we really need it because the weather is beautiful. Mm. The weather is amazing. For it to be January. <clears throat> January in Chicago. The weather is fabulous. I've been out here on my neck. Like bow, bow, bow. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. On my neck. At my neck. Ow, ow. Yes, ma'am. This is so good. But I put a lot of shrimp up in here. I know I'm not going to finish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I really want y'all to get into this. I really need y'all to get into this. This is so good. Spice is kicking though. It's kicking.
Okay. So, <laughs> I have to laugh because this story is a little much. Don't get me. Mm -mm. So, the other day, I got a phone call from one of my fish friends, aka a female friend. That's just what, you know, that's. Don't take no offense to that. I know how people are sensitive out there. They be like, why you call? Why you refer to women as fish? Because it's cute. Gosh, everything's not meant to be taken to the heart. But anyway. Mm. Ooh. Spicy on both sides. I got a problem. So my good good girlfriend called me, I mean FaceTime me and while she was at work. And she had been telling me that there was this guy that she worked with and she wanted to I'm hot. She wanted to hook us up. Like not really hook us up, but like see if we, you know, click because she know that I've been some way um, I don't want to say on the search for love or on the search for a, a partner, whatever the case is, but, you know, I'm not opposed to it. And we've had many discussions about it and all this stuff. So she knows what I like, what I'm into, and all of that stuff. So I figured that if she brought the, uh, you know, brought it to me, it wouldn't be like a, you know, a big thing. <laughs> Y'all, give me one second. I need to turn this heat off. Give me one second. That heat had me completely messed up. Completely. So, you know, she knows what I like, what I'm into, and things that I may not necessarily find attractive in a guy and all that stuff. So I didn't find, you know, when she brought it to me, I didn't think too much of it because I'm like, okay, whatever. But ladies who are friends with gay men, y'all have a very, very bad habit of, now I know, listen, I know y'all heart, y'all mean well, and y'all hearts, y'all mean well. But let me just say this, let me just say this now. It's just because you see one gay over here and another gay over here does not mean put them together and make them go kissy kissy and let's watch. We got taste buds just like y'all do. I mean, the, the important part is, that you try. I mean, all you can do is try, you know? But I appreciate you for it. <clears throat> I allowed her to set this blind date up. Um, well, it wasn't so blind on my behalf because I didn't see the guy. But I guess apparently since she works with him, you know, I guess he, he must have seen a picture of me or something like that in her phone or... I don't know. However, he knew what I looked like before I knew what he looked like. So, and you know, I'm real risky like that. You know, I like to do things like that. It's, I mean, let, as long as, as it's safe, you guys, as long as it's safe, it's fine. It was fine. It was safe. This is really spicy. Um, so we set the, the date up and all that stuff, where we were going to meet up, what time and all that. Of course, it was in the public area. 
a restaurant and we you know we gave each other the the we exchanged numbers okay we exchanged numbers and we told each other okay so when we meet up how would we know who you know how would i know who you are whatever the case is he said of course you know <laughs> that he was just gonna text me and let me know that he's he arrived or he's already there or whatever the case may be so I made it there early so I could, you know, check out the scene, that, you know, if there was an exit door that I needed to make sure it was there, just in case I needed to exit stage left. I don't know. But I got there early. <laughs> and I was waiting. I waited good. I don't know. Probably like 10, 10 minutes. And then that text message came in. My heart instantly just went like boom, 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 boom. Like, oh my gosh, what's about to happen? Because I know me and I know my facial expressions. And I know sometimes I can't control what come out of my mouth. Now, this is the Jacquez that's outside of this YouTube stuff, y'all. <laughs> this is the Jacquez that's... That's... Not on here stuttering and fumbling all over his words. Yeah. So. Got the text that he came and he was like, I'm walking in and out. I'm walking in the door now and all this and stuff. So my heart is going like a million miles per hour. Like not even an hour really. A little bit faster than that to the point where I was probably about to have a heart attack. Because I just didn't know what to expect. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm sitting there and I'm trying to act like, you know, I'm not all nervous and all that. I have my back turned towards the door, you know, the entrance where, you know, everybody come in. And I was sitting there and he knew what color I had on. So I felt a tap on my shoulder. the top of my shoulder and I turned around and I swear to you even though I turned around at a normal speed when I did the turn around it felt like I was going in slow motion it was just like it was like a scene out of a movie y'all kid y'all not it was just so it was just like the timing and everything that was just happening it was just, it was like a movie. Mm. Ooh. Hot. Mm. So, as I'm turning in slow motion, I'm seeing him, and I'm just like, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting him. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him. First of all, when I say that, I mean, this guy was, I had to be at least, I don't know, probably like, 22, 23, no ma'am, that's not going to work for me, that's not going to, that was strike one, that was the first red flag, no ma'am, and then when I asked him what his age was, he told me that he was 25, and I'm like, mm, but I still can't get into it like that because I prefer somebody that's really, really close to my age or a little bit older, you know, I can't really get with the 20s and something, I can't do it, I cannot, dating wise, I cannot do it, we could be friends all day long, but dating, no. 
And that's on period. <clears throat> but, um, you know, I played it cool, even though I already knew this wasn't going nowhere. I played it cool. It's like, hey, we here. We might as well just, you know, grab a drink or whatever the case is, chit chat, you know. Maybe we can get a friendship out of this because that's all that's going to happen, to be honest with you guys. That was all that was going to happen. But trust and believe, my good, good girlfriend, she was going to hear about it later. She was going to hear about it later. So we get to talking and all that stuff. And like, he's actually holding like a, a, a you know, an actual intellectual conversation and he got things going on for himself clearly because he works with my um my friend and all this stuff. She has a wonderful job. Wonderful job. But she's closer to my age, so I really wasn't expecting her to be like, you know, Hey, I'm pretty sure you knew how old he was, sis. Why would you send him over here? <laughs> Why would you send him over here? <laughs> I mean you already know what I give about that. I'm very like, mm -mm, can't do it. The age thing is a big thing for me. <clears throat> but, like I said, he was holding like a very, we were having like a really, really good conversation. And, you know, me being me at the end of it all, I didn't want to prolong it because, I, you know, I just didn't want to be like, you know, making it seem as if I was really there and we were really about to, you know, take this on a second date. Because, baby, that's not what's happening. So, um, we were there for like a good hour and a half, you know, maybe two, maybe two. It was it was a long enough while to have a good conversation. <clears throat> mm. So after we finished conversing, it was like, so what do we do now? What do we do now? Y'all, I don't have no problem with breaking it down for people. I really don't. But, it was so sweet. And I just didn't want to, I didn't want to be like, I don't know. I don't think that this is going anywhere. So I was just like, you know, we could see how far, you know, this goes as far as like we building a friendship and all that good stuff. But, I don't really know if we are like compatible like you know it's not that it's not that physically you're not attractive it's not that you know you don't have it up here you don't have things going on for yourself or whatever but it's just that I'm really really I'm really really big about the age thing you guys I'm really big about the age thing <clears throat> I am and, that, and I was just like, and I was kind of kicking myself in the butt because I'm just like, man, listen, because a lot of the dudes that I've been dealing with lately and, the, and they've been around the age that I require, they just didn't have it together like him. <laughs> That's so sad. That is so sad. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. We're cool. Mm. Mm. We can be cool, but <clears throat> we cannot date. But luckily, you know. He understood, but, <laughs> you know, people, people have to find ways around doing things that, you know, doing things that they want, so, I've been asked to go on a second date, you guys, because, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know what to do. I just I don't know what to do about this situation. I don't know what to do. 
I know it's very small. I know it's, it may be, you know, small to some people, but it's a big thing for me. Because in my head, I'm thinking about marriage. I'm thinking about finances. I'm thinking about joint accounts. And I'm thinking about building homes. And I'm thinking about kids and all those things. And if I'm not 100% happy in my relationship, none of that is going to be right. None of that is going to be right. And I only want to do it once, you guys. I only want to do it once. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm about to get up out of here. I did as much as I possibly could, you guys. It was so good, though. It was really, really good. I'm going to just save... I'm going to save most of this for later. <clears throat> for my 3 a.m. snack. <laughs> but the moral of today's story, you guys... Uh, females, when you have a gay friend, don't just assume because you run into another gay man that they're supposed to just click. It don't work like that. We, like I said earlier, we got taste buds just like y'all do. We like what we like. Just like y'all like what y'all like. We love y'all for trying though. We really do. But it don't always work like that. Ooh, ooh. So we have some shout outs to give you guys. But before I do that, if you made it this far in the video, that means that you know that I give shout outs. Leave in the comment section shout me out fat belly fella shout me out and i got you but today who we have who we have who we have when hong kong i hope i'm saying that right baby i appreciate you so much christina ivy what up boo be delicious simpson what's going on baby you stay in the comments i love you so much you are like you give me life girl you give me life i so appreciate you deborah cooper what's up baby What's up? What's up? What's up? Listen, if I say baby, y'all, please don't don't take that offensively. It's not like in a derogative way. It's just a term of endearment, okay? And then we also have Deborah Lee. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I appreciate all of you guys so 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 much for even like taking a minute out of your day to even watch little old me. I appreciate you guys so much. If you're not following me on social media, you can follow me on my Instagram at underscore fat belly fella underscore okay okay. In the meantime, y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. <laughs>